Welcome back. Um, just looking back at um, well, the last game I played today and the last two games from earlier games in this playlist or whatever, I noticed I've had three games in a row with cultists. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're not getting sick of seeing cultists. Let's see if I can get something uh, something different this time around. I will draw in an opponent with all expansions. Sista S. I have no real meaning of what these pro ratings really mean yet. But uh, hopefully I'll get a rough idea of what numbers mean. what How these numbers correspond to skill before too long. Alright. Moat, fortune teller, bishop. Quarry Rats, Counterfeit, Horn of Plenty, Tactician, Upgrade, Venture. Well, what I really want to do right off the bat is some um, Bishop and Rats shenanigans. That sounds like fun. Because Bishop Trashing Copper gets no points, Bishop Trashing Estate gets one point in addition to the one point that Bishop comes with anyway. But Bishop Trashing Rats gets two points and draws a card. So, what else would there be here if I wasn't going to do that? Um, I haven't seen Counterfeit before. I would love to give that one a try because it just sounds like a really cool card. It's like a throne room for a treasure that trashes it and gives you a buy. How great is that? Um, but anyway, I just want to try this Bishop Rats shenanigans. Because this seems to be a board where rats is not a horrible idea to buy, so I definitely don't want to pass up that opportunity. I was really hoping to get a bishop on this, a second bishop on this reshuffle before I dove into rats, but with six I couldn't pass up gold, so. Oh well, that's just how it shuffles sometimes. You don't quite get what you want. Hmm, that's a bummer. Fortunately, I was able to use Sista. Sista's <laughs> uh, bishop to trash a pair of my estates, so I guess that's the danger in opening bishop, you just let your opponent trash, but I don't know. I think it can still be pretty good for you. Now I'm going to buy a second bishop before I start on rats. Already buy a province? I guess it'd be silly to not buy a province. And I can always bishop it for uh, some points later. Um, I will trash a copper and I can still buy my one rats. Just hoping to churn out a lot of a lot of points. So, hopefully this will work out and my rats will have things worth trashing. If not, this should still be at least, uh, this should still be entertaining. Fortune teller found my province. Okay. Um, if I trash is silver, I will have five to spend. If I trash copper, I will have six to spend. I guess I'll buy a gold. Maybe I should have got a rats before my second bishop. But anyway, let's turn this copper into uh, something that is worth more points when I trash it with bishop.
for those of you who don't know, because you don't spend way too much time on the forums, like myself, uh, Counterfeit was actually named by, actually named by Theory, um, the wonderful founder and main moderator, administrator, whatever, of a Dominion strategy. So it's pretty cool that um, they got to, he got to be involved in uh, playtesting Dark Ages and the guilds, but of course he can't tell us anything about guilds yet. Which is sad. Because we always just want to know what's coming next. So once guilds actually comes out, I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to be just going to have nothing left to look forward to. Unless, of course, we do get... Um, Donald has hinted at the possibility of more expansions, but it seems like something that could happen, but it's not... definitely not a sure thing. Anyway, rambling about unrelated things. Um, Bishop, let's go for the gold. Okay, I've got one province, and I've got four-point lead here. Push up. And... I could bishop a copper to buy a province. I could bishop a gold to buy a gold. I think I'll bishop a gold to buy a gold. So that my deck stays the same. So this turn is essentially like... Just plus four points. That should be okay, right? Play treasures by gold. Uh oh. Now, if I play a rats, I'll have to trash a silver or whatever it draws. And I just really wanted to line up a bishop with rats. So maybe if it draws a bishop, it'll be worth it. If not, I feel foolish. But I'm not going to push my luck and play the second rats, so let's buy another bishop. <laughs> and of course my bishops all line up together instead of with my rats. And of course my bishops get the coppers instead of the rats getting the coppers. Three bishops. What does one do with three bishops? One trash is one bishop. And one buys a silver. That's more like it. Okay, so we both have a province, but I'm starting to pull ahead on victory points. Ooh. I'm going to trash a rats to draw a card right now. Well, definitely don't want to play a rats here, but I would love to trash it for a few points. And buy gold. I would just love for my rats to line up with my copper. Is that so much to ask? Yes. Yes it is. Clearly. Okay, bishop, bishop. So, if you think about the theme of Dominion, I guess the bishop, you give stuff to the church, and then you are rewarded with a bit of coin and some fame, prestige, kind of what victory points sort of represent. So what exactly is happening if you trash a bishop with a bishop? Are you saying, here, church... I have this bishop from this other church, and I'm sacrificing him to you, or some nonsense like that. I don't know. I don't know. Over on Board Game Geek, Dominion is often criticized for not having a terribly strong theme. And yeah, not all the actions make sense and stuff, but that's okay, because the mechanics are just so good, and it's so fun. But that doesn't stop it from being fun at thinking about these silly things from time to time. <laughs> Alright, I've got a fairly sizable victory point token lead. And, um, 
Let's push up a silver for some gold. I think I've... That might be my last copper. I haven't been tracking closely enough. This time I will not trash a rats to her bishop. Or sister. I guess sister could be a boy, but... I'm still gonna call it a her because sister. Anyway, point being, I want to trash this rats to my bishop. That's such a great gift to give to the church. Here, have some disease-infested vermin. But they still give you some points for it, so, so I don't know. All right, I would love to get rid of that copper so that a bishop can trash a rat instead of a bishop trashing a copper, so I will do just that. Rats, copper. Oh, do I bishop a silver to buy a gold, or do I bishop a gold for more points to buy something else? Let's see, I've got a 21 point lead here. I believe Sista has four provinces, so I think that's a three province lead, so that's 18 points. I'm up 21 here, so I'm up by three points. Um, I'll bishop a silver for a gold so that I have more golds to trash on the next run through the deck instead of just trashing it now. Ooh! I have the classic golden province, or not golden province, golden deck hand right here. Okay, so five provinces, 30 points, is 41. I've got 40. But I should not buy the penultimate province then. Yeah. I think about, okay, sorry. 34 plus my one province is 40. 11 plus five provinces is 41. So I'm down by one point. So I should not buy that province. Okay. Down by a few points. A couple points, actually. Or, down by three, I think, because it looks like Sista still has two estates. So, I will just bishop gold. And... Might still see this again, so I'll buy a gold. Oh, no! Where, oh, where, uh, where is my bishop? Hopefully right here. Perfect. All right. So 33 points from cards makes 48. And I've got 44. Let's see. Good bishop of rats. About 41. Is that right? 5, 30, 33, 48. Still too far behind to grab the province. I believe that last rats I trashed was actually my last one. I've got five. So there's two out there. Okay, yeah, I think. I think I'm all out of rats. I'm down to a sort of pseudo golden deck thing. So let's bishop of gold. And let's buy a bishop. It's either that or gold right now, I think. I just have to wait out until I can actually comfortably buy that penultimate province. Because with Bishop, if you manage things right, you can play a nice waiting game where you pile up points and they start to choke on green, and then you can move in and buy the rest of the green yourself. Go. Not that I'm sure I'm doing this all correctly, but anyway. Done trashing. 
seven. Lucky number seven. Okay. So 30, 36, and I think 38 from two estates. Yes. 54. 54 altogether. So 48 plus the province is 54, plus four points from a gold. Would be 58. Would be, I'm still behind. Or rather, okay. I said, Sister has 48. No, I said Sister has 54. And right now, I have 58. So I am ahead right now. Okay. For a moment, I was thinking if I bought, if I bought a province, I would have 58, but then that would let sister just by the last province and get ahead of me, but I should have the win now. Boom. 64. On a big old pile of victory points from the bishop. Now, I do wish that they would change this so it looked more like the victory point token or like the actual little metal tokens that come with prosperity or or something, because I mean, it just says victory points, but these are victory points. These are victory points. I mean, it's just they're victory points from bishop or monument or goons. They're they're the tokens. So anyway, that's a that's a really minor gripe, and it's fine that they look green so that they match with the rest of the victory stuff. But anyway, um, so yeah, that was. That was fun to use rats for once, but of course you have to be always conscientious of when you're choosing to play a rats. Um, and it was nice on a couple occasions to feed my rats to Sista's Bishop, letting me draw a card, and that usually worked out pretty nicely. And, I mean, they pretty much just helped me clear out some coppers and estates. I'm, let's see, in this game I bought two bishops and then a rats. I'm not sure if a bishop then a rats then a bishop would have been better. Um, the rats would have turned more coppers into rats, meaning more points for bishop. So it could have been something there. Um, I've, I think this is the first online game I've where I've really used rats, and I've used rats in one or two real life games. So, definitely need more experience. Definitely want more experience with rats and, of course, the rest of Dark Ages. Um, but, yeah, that, that was a fun bishop game. I love, I love bishop games where you can just rack up VP like this and just kind of wait it out and only buy a couple victory cards to just squeeze past your opponent. Um, let's grab that log... Okay, and still in third. Still a couple hundred points behind the, the next guys. Um. Anyway, thanks for watching.